on the job. Right. That called you to be demoted on the job. Right. And, and you don't understand how come you can't get a promotion. They have set out to kill you, conspirators. Yeah. But God spoke to Paul the night before yeah. and said, you're going to Rome. Yeah. Now, anybody here know what I'm talking about? Okay. That, 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 that when the devil set out to kill you yeah. right at the nick of time, God sent you a word and the word yeah. makes a way of escape for you. Oh, oh y'all been not going to sleep on me now. Ah, you gotta stay woke for me now because see, sometimes we think destruction comes uh, and we can see it, but most times the subtleness of Satan is so smooth he's already put us to sleep and we don't even know our joy is back home. Right. 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 We don't even understand that our power, our strength to overcome the devil, if you please, is out there in the streets. Uh, oh. Hallelujah. We left it at the grocery store. Y'all don't want to go with me. Oh. I mean, wonder how come my hands are so heavy and our feet, if you please, don't feel right. Oh. And, and, and one of the worst things in the world is to be in church and all of a sudden your ankles swell up. That devil is alive. Yeah. Hallelujah. There's no place I can get some healing is that church. I got to get some healing at church. I need to my feet to pack the love. Jesus. And so we see here, if you please, that the thing begins to move. And as it moves on, God says it, and God brings about a deliverance. God had already set up a deliverance for him. If you please, and so now they get into a ship. And at the beginning of this chapter, they get into a ship. And, and, and the ship, if you please, is a nice ship. And it eases around the borders. It's a ship that tips around the borders. It does not get in the deep water. If you please, it's a ship that you please that take it easy, it won't take a risk. Uh, hallelujah. Yeah, have you ever been around folks that's not gonna take a risk? Uh, as long as they can see land, they fine. As long as everything's all right, they fine. Well, the Bible tells me that the just should live by faith. Right. Uh, and faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. You got to step out on God every now and then yes, yes. and try him to see if he really gonna do it. Yes. Now, Notice here that it begins to happen. We are dealt with this very much right now in our land, in our time, in our state. Matter of fact, the other day they say we have more storms in Texas and tornadoes and storms in Texas than any other state and country in the country, if you please. Between Texas and Oklahoma, we have multiplicities of storms, if you please, that come and they do destruction every year. And so it says here that now, as they begin to get out, a storm comes on the water. And the storm storm comes, and, and when the storm comes, if you please, everybody's fine. Everybody can take the storm. Everybody deal with it. It's just a one-day thing. This is something that you please is going to pass over. But one day becomes two days, and two days become three days. And, and then the bottom line of it, three days and four days, and then I have made anything. Ah, oh, now I begin to come. What in the world in your life is like a storm, if you please? And, and a lot of times the storm got to come, because if the storm don't come, you're not going to get no power. Some folk begin to run, oh God, you ain't with me now. God will put you more now in the storm than he was if you believe when you started out. See, in the beginning you had ability to handle things and you knew how to work it, but in the storm, you get stripped from stuff. Yes, Notice what happened in our storms. Our storm that came and they hit Cleveland, if you please, and they hit Granbury, if you please, they hit Moore, if you please, Oklahoma. Notice what those storms did. It demolished everything. It got rid of everything. But see, you got to understand, whenever a storm comes and it tear up everything, uh, get ready to start building something new. I'll uh, uh, get ready for a blessing of God. Uh, see, you're going to get some help now. You're going to get some aid now. Uh, uh, I don't want to go with that. Uh, I do it because, see, that old house you used to have, uh, you wouldn't get rid of the couch anyway. Uh, it had cracks in the wall. Uh, hallelujah. You had to repaint the wall. Now the storm the tore the house. Uh, Insurance gonna kill you and leave you. I got a word to go with me. Notice this calm. I, I feel this thing. If you please, this calm spiritually. If you please, it comes along uh, and it begins to rob you of your joy and your peace. Uh, and there's a sign for you. And, and, and in the midst of all of this, you you got to deal with other folks. If you please, don't understand the storm. Uh, Paul had to deal with other people that didn't understand the storm. Uh, people, if you please, that were with him and following him. Uh, what are you saying? There are people. Uh, you influence every day. Yeah. There are folk that are looking at you and wondering, why am I having what you're passing 
right? They wonder what y'all, why are we hanging with this church? We don't understand this, but we can't get off the ship. Right. All you can tell them on the ship is if you abide in the ship, you right. shall be saved. Right. Somebody want to jump out the ship. Yeah. Uh, come out and tell you to stay in the ship. I mean, yeah. Because God's got a blessing for you. Yeah. Uh, because it's she a storm right now. Yeah. It's, it's, it's hard right now. It's not easy. Yeah. I mean, some of us are just straining to praise God. Uh, not to magnify God. Uh, we've been going through so long. We don't even know which one we're coming or going. Uh, we don't know what we have to or we sad. Uh, uh, we don't even know if it's a real smile or a fake smile. Uh, we don't know what it is. Uh, and I know you don't want to go there with me. Uh, because we put on our Sunday best of yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> To prove the people we're not going through with. Huh? But some of us, if you please just be honest, huh? in the 21st century, huh? in this town where we got two cars and we got everything, huh? we don't even have enough food at home in the refrigerator. Huh? We don't even know how the light bill going to get paid. Huh? We're talking about a passive appreciation. Huh? My light bill was too. Y'all don't want to go with me. Huh? Oh, you don't even know how we're going to handle it. Huh? Oh, Y'all don't want to go with me. Huh? We don't know the next gas and for the rest of the week to get to work. Huh? It's a storm, baby. Huh? Hallelujah. It began to be 14 days. And I want to deal with 14 days for a minute. And I want to not only just deal with 14 days, I want to remember a story, if you please, out of Moore, Oklahoma. And then I'll come back to the 14 days. This story out of Moore, Oklahoma. This young lady and her husband and her baby. But the young lady daddy, if you please, was one of the weather casters. He was one, if you please, that broadcast the growth from the television. If you please, and through the radio. And here she began to say, my daddy began to say 16 minutes earlier that the storm is on its way. I wonder if anybody got a 16 minute warning. Lord, have money. She said, she said, I heard him. And she got up and she left in her house that the breeze was not destroyed but demolished in the roof. But the metal part came down in the house. And when it came down, I'm not ready for it yet, but it's all right. How to do the metal part can y'all hear me good? Yeah. Do the metal part came down and it hit right down in the baby's bathroom where they probably would have been hiding. But it was a 16 minute warning. God always gives us a warning. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. He always warns you before trouble go come. Anybody got a 16 minute warning? Like the Lord says something's going to happen. Like God said you got to make a move before it happens. Y'all don't want to go with me. 16 minutes before destruction, so you can really be saved, and so you can really get into the house. Well, that was a warning that Paul gave them, except he abide in this ship, except you stay in this, you're not going to be saved. So this storm is for you, it's to bless you, a blind man. And sometimes can I take my time here just a little bit? I'm trying to hold it down. But sometime in the church, let me please there come a time when we all have to go through by ourselves. And notice if you please when everybody lost hope. And the word of the Lord begin to say that they lost all hope. The person on your road could have lost hope and think we're not gonna make it. But Paul began to grab his thoughts and the word of the Lord. And remember what God told him. You go on the road. Huh? And you stood up and said, I believe God. Huh? Yeah. Can I get three people to jump up and say, I believe God? I believe God. I believe God. That's a lie. Huh? You got to believe God for yourself. Huh? You don't see no way out. There ain't no way better. Huh? But you got to tell yourself, I believe God. Huh? You got to use psychosomatics to your own mind. Huh? You got to talk to your mind. Huh? You got to use psychology on you. Huh? And say, I don't see it. I don't need it. Huh? But I got to know where it is. Tell me that I'm gonna make it. You gotta tell yourself it's gonna get better. You gotta tell yourself when the car is on, you don't make it. I'm gonna get to my destiny. You gotta tell that God told me He gonna touch my body. You gotta tell yourself that I. 
this one, 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 Right now, but that's what I feel 
Esce chi è l'orora da risa.
give him the rest. I'm a blessing in your mind. We don't die here. God gave him a red house. God gave him freedom. To do whatever he wanted to do. So if you're right, so if you're with this. And God had already touched the high priest. Well, not the high priest, but the emperor. That he was good to him the whole time. In the last year of his life, Nero took over. And notice what God does. God takes Paul away. He said, I fought a good fight. I finished my cause. I kept the faith. Oh, that made up my life. See, your best days are yet to come. God took him out for the destruction and the persecution, all the persecution of the Christians. I come to tell somebody that this storm is not going to last. And God is with you in the middle of it. And you're going to fulfill what God called you to get. You had to go through this. So you can get the right of quickly. Thank you. 